Hello everyone, it's Ball Farmer 6710. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to day 89 on the big 132. Model Farm Day Ramen display. Now the weather is up, lads. The weather is up. The sunshine is out first day without much rain, to be honest. And the ground is kind of starting to take shape a bit. So we've been waiting a long time for this now, but this means every man and machine is going to be going around the clock 24-7. So with that said guys, let's get into it. So start off with PJ's farm. You may be wondering why is the Matthew Ferguson 590 out of the shed? Well, some lad, he, PJ was in the pub there a few days ago actually and he was talking to a farmer and then the subject of tractors came up. I'm sure as you know, PJ be the right man to talk to about tractors. And um, PJ said he has a massive 590 to your man and your man really wants a 590 and long story short uh, PJ is thinking of selling the 590 to your man and um, your man is kind of looking for a 590 and PJ doesn't really use the 590 uh, the main workhorses are the, the 7810 and the 690 and the 1200 there so he's kind of alright and he's kind of in the market for a new tractor well, not really like new but something that might be uh, a bit more comfier or something like that uh, just for a bit of a change you know so 590 out of the shed there it's just there running there in the yard warming up has been started in about six months since the tractor runs since the tractor runs or something like that um, but yeah it's been always dry stored very little rust around the cab and stuff like that um, also a lot of you may laugh at this now but this happens every year you may be able to see but there's a bit of a hole at the end of that and there's a bit of a window or I don't know what you'd call them but um, in the wall and it always happens at this time of year the birds start or the crows or the swallows start building a nest there and I don't like them as they start messing up all this here but uh, they're after winning this now <laughs> uh, so I may let them stay but they're after doing a bit of damage here around the, the paper mache and stuff and the electricity pole so I thought it was quite funny, you might laugh at that, but I may fix that now. Um, coming down the road here, we have James and Michael here, big job on. As you can see, they still have the 419S on uh, hire from ECI JCB, well, while the 416 is getting fixed. And why do they like the 419S? The hydraulics are way quicker, uh, it's just a smoother machine altogether. And, uh, yeah, they're strongly considered it for this season or even uh, next season but uh, yeah, they just know it's another it's a machine that they have to buy um, they like out to the 416 any day of the week which is expected since it's a brand new machine but uh, no they're just really impressed with it to be fair um, it's actually it's absolutely after horsing out to sign this right out at the PGA or the AD plant so um, I mean I'd have a bit of spare time there driving to bring it out and load a bit of muck. New Holland T7260 is there on the NC spreader following behind. And they're spending a bit of lime and a bit of muck onto a bit of land there that's going in for days. So, they a bit of that contract there now and they'll probably get the job of uh, harvesting the maize since they have the maize header on the New Holland F4. As you, as you see in last episode, there's a blue power TM190 coming into the field here. Turned in a spring crop of barley. And now in this episode, we have an 8560 coming in with the Cambridge rollers. Gonna roll it all in. So, um, that's a nice job now, I must say. And, uh, as you can see you're here over at the new proposed quarry. We're still muck shifting so they are, the weather's up so there's going to be a lot of muck shifting this week I'd say. I'd say they'll be doing well and they'll be trying to get all that muck shifted and then they can move into rock breaking and move it in all together. But uh, yeah, the 6930 is on the new Herbs trailer. Well, new to Adrian anyway and he be really, really impressed with us so he is. Very good trailer. He really thinks it's better than the dually but that might be a bit controversial. <laughs> but uh, the 6930 is going real real smooth so it is nothing wrong with it yet but uh yeah dump trailer work really test out a tractor to his capabilities um 
Seven, eight hand John Deere, James and Michael's tractor is on the Brahan 20 ton. Then that's able to boss that trailer, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, he's off to the, they're uh, gradually drawn into a bit of a site where they're kind of pulling up a shed and they need a heap of soil to build up the, build up the yard a bit so the shed can be level. So that's what they're doing with all that soil there. And um, 20 ton JCB parked up, don't really need it for the moment. You may have seen over the intro, the silent harvester is out, and so is the Chrome Big M. The countdown is on, boys. There's about 20 days, T minus 20 days of silage, and uh, you can really see the excitement around and uh, around the crew. So you can, there's a boys doing a bit of an over, kind of overreacting, I'd say, but um, <laughs> we'll leave him alone. Uh, James is there looking at the blades. Everything's all right. The harvester is only a season old, so like, literally just the uh, wear and tear bits need to be looked at. But other than that, should be no problems with it. But kind of looking at the opposite side of things, this Chrome Big M, what she's nearly 20 year old, so definitely needs to be looking at. But to be fair, this yoke's been in from Holland and it has been looked after. But still, the little things of maintenance need to be uh, checked over thoroughly. So there's a lad from Farmhand coming out to have a look at the Chrome Big M, um, just give her a check over and stuff like that. Um, so. Yeah, nice to see the boys getting ready early, so it is. I think 28 or something. Yeah, it's silage to be knocked. And then the fusion tree needs to be looked at as well. Um, you know, just a once over. But uh, the main thing is, everything is stored away in the shed, so it's not left outside, which, you know, no water is getting into bearings and all, all of that. But yeah, the yard is fair empty. All the spray tankers are out, and so are all the tractors. So that's a good sign, anyway. Find a good weather. John Deere 7 8 30. Kill a charmer off to spread a load of, load of, load of spray or a load of nitrogen onto the land. And uh, definitely if the dry weather is giving a bit of a bonus there for spraying. And they need dry weather to go spraying. Over here, the biogas plant or the AD plant. T7 2 time blue power. They're all sucking out of the digest they tagged at the moment. Uh, with the, the amount of silage they've been put through the digester, the tank is starting to uh, build up, so they're currently spreading onto tillage land and then being ploughed in straight away. So they're uh, flat out at the moment. I think there's a few lorries on the draw as well. Uh, they're drawn over to a nurse tank with an umbilical on it. There's about, I think there's about half an hour of driving a tractor and then there's a few lorries drawn as well. So fair out speed and fairness. Um, Red Rock there, that's not drawn at the moment, but I think there's a tractor, there's another tractor coming in being hired in there, he should be here shortly and he's going to hook up onto that, speed up the process a bit, um, make sure they're not running out slurry in the nurse tank, don't want any waiting around, and as you can see there's a very small amount left on the, the silage pit there, so there are four or nine S's able to eat through it with pace, so that's a good sign and uh, they should have that cleared the silage time, so that's a good sign. Case Puma Tooth Hand coming in for another load. Catching up on the on the new Holland T7 Tooth Hand. The man that drives this case is an absolute madman. He drives it flat out. I suppose that's the only way to drive from it, I suppose, but uh, there's a two and a half thousand gallon NC on the back. And he's not afraid to drive her on. Bear in mind, there's a nice, nice old load out of that case in fairness. Town is quiet enough, but still, a bit of activity around, I suppose. Now, as you can see, the cows are out over at Adrian's farm. A lot of things are actually after happening this week. So, ground is getting ready, and also the boys, they've kind of ran out of silage. So they said they just said no much, they didn't really have much other choice but to let the cows out. The ground isn't too bad in fairness. Uh, they kind of held out as much as they can with keeping them inside the shed. And they should have been out about two weeks ago. If it was this time last year, they would have been out about two weeks ago. But uh, that's just the way the year has fallen, isn't it? Um, but yeah, all the cows are happy out today. Couldn't be happier. They're all kicking up in the air and galloping and everything. And uh, they're so happy to get out on the fresh grass. Um, yeah, 
They spent fertilizer on this a few weeks ago and the grass is popping now so it is. So the milk yield will be up hopefully. And a few of the cows are having a nosy in at the beat. <laughs> Getting a bit greedy so one of the relief milkers there is helping bringing the cows out and then Adrian's son is there in the Kubota RTV just making sure they all get out, get out onto the grass. So coming out on into the yard, the tank is quite full with all the rain so it is, especially it's, it's an outside splatter tank so a lot of the rain water is in it. So Adrian is just in the Fed Favre 926 and that's another thing I have to say. The fence is back. I think 15 grand worth of repairs in the gearbox. And the tractor is back. Adrian, he got an absolute fright. So he had to get a bit of the gearbox lifted, or he had to get the cab lifted off, but the gearbox had to be looked at. And I think the brakes had to be done as well. So a big repair bill, but 14,000 on the fence does, doesn't get you much far now, but look at it's a brilliant tractor and it's definitely a tractor that's going to be worth a lot of money in the future and it's already worth a lot of money at the moment so it's definitely a tractor worth maintaining and uh, you know, um, if it needs something just make sure it gets it so it is in fantastic condition that's another tractor that's been in from Europe and uh, yeah that's put out a few loads of slurry there onto the onto the silage ground there so uh, yeah, great to see things all back in action there after the wet weather. It's fantastic to see. Marlow is going down the road there, doing a bit of a job for a neighbour, just leveling out a bit of gravel there for a man's yard. Uh, he do he does a bit of welding and stuff for Adrian, so he's just get, kind of returning the favour. So nice to do things like that to your neighbours. And here we have a black Fend A20 with a Fend baler on the back. And he's bringing that baler to an auctioneer's. He's going to sell it on. Um, it's kind of a bit tatty baler though. It's kind of sitting up two or three years, never used. Any man did get anyone to buy it there, a done deal or anything. So he's just going to let it off into an auction and see what it makes. So uh, fair play done. Hopefully he gets a good price for it. Now over here, the case 195 CVX and the 440 Coverna plow. And that there is packed up for the moment. Uh, they're kind of using this yard a bit more now since Adrian is, doesn't really want the, the other yard kind of filled up. Um, too much machinery around there, so he says he's going to use this yard a bit more often. Especially if after clearing all the straw bales out after selling them all for a good price. So the Sammy Galaxy is parked in there, and Case Pew, or not Pew, but the CVX is parked up there with the plow. And uh, he's just stopped for dinner time there, and he's going to go back plowing there after dinner. And all the cattle are all happy out. So fantastic to see you guys. It's a good time of year. And uh, definitely a bit of hope with uh, the good weather. And hopefully this week will be good with all the you know, the dry spells. And uh, before we know it, it'll be silence time again. So let me know guys in the comments below what was your favourite part of the video. For me, I think it was the 6 by 30 on the dump trailer. Or it was the New Holland F4 out of the shed. Just a magnificent machine. Just lovely to see it out of the shed in the daylight. Just lovely to see it in the flesh. Well, yeah, look, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.